Yorkshire Spider and Toya are pressing on with their protest in Coronation Street. Hey! Coronation Street is sponsored by Cadbury's Cream Egg. Hello, Liz. It's me. Can you come round straight away? Yeah, yeah, get a taxi. No, I, I need to talk to you. Something terrible's happened. You should try soya milk, can't you, Em? I'm not a vegan, Geoffrey. I'm not even vegetarian. You should still try it. You should try full cream butter and dairy milk chocolate. I do, sometimes, when nobody's watching. So you have been known to give in to temptation? I'm afraid so. It's good to know you're human after all. Well, you can't lecture people all the time. I mean, there's a limit to the conversational value of veal calves and free-range hens. We all have to draw the line somewhere. I know, even if we are in the right. What's the matter? You look as if you haven't slept. I haven't. Couldn't. I've stayed up all night. Have you and John had a row? Worse than that. You're not leaving him, are you? He lied to me. He's never said a word that was true. What do you mean? <laughs> He's got a wife, Liz. He's got an ex-wife, but you knew that. No. He's got a wife and children. He lives with them in Oak Hill. He lives with them? Yeah. But how come he lives with you? No. He pretends to. I found the truth out last night. I can't think straight. Deirdre, I don't understand. What exactly has happened? Nothing much. I did what you said. I took the champagne round to the airport, but he wasn't there. His assistant was just closing the shop up. She gave me his address so I could go round and wish him Happy New Year. So you went to his house? Yeah. Did you speak to him? I tried to. And what did he say? Nothing. He just looked right through me, as if I wasn't there. Why did you do that? <laughs> Because his wife was standing beside him. And there were children's toys in the hall. <laughs> oh. Aren't we a bit early, Geoffrey? The meeting doesn't start till half twelve. Well, it's never too early to save the planet, aren't you, Em? I'm just going to go and canvas some support. Look, I don't want serving. I've come for the meeting. Look, you can help it. You're too young. Look, I'm not a customer. I'm an activist. Well, go out somewhere else, then. <laughs> Mr Gilroy said that everyone would be welcome. Look, come back in an hour. You mean you'll let me in for the meeting? Well, if you behave yourself and you don't have a drink, not even an orange juice. Oh, cheers, Vera. You're a real eco-warrior. Yeah, well, even if I am, I'm still Mrs Duckworth to you. I'll be back for the meeting, Spider. Oh, good. Bring a friend. Got any. Playing mummies and daddies again over there. Even went to Uncle Fred to get his dinner. Who told you that? Fred did. He wasn't best pleased though. Yeah, one well, more fool him for letting them in the door then. Said he had to for the season of goodwill. But to be honest, Max, I actually think you're well rid of Ashley. Mm, you're not kidding. Do you know what he did yesterday? He virtually begged me to get back with him. What, so he doesn't mind who he lives with just as long as he lives with one of you? Yeah, well, he can live with her. I'm not bothered anymore. Are you upset? No. He's a nerd. Don't know what I saw him in the first place. I'll get that, Vera. And pour us a pint, will you please, love? Right, love. Well, that's very kind of you, Norman. 
By way of gratitude, Emily, I read your letter in the Gazette and I agreed with every word. Really, it's something I should have written. Have you come today to support the meeting? Yes, I have. Alf Roberts and his cronies are megalomaniacs and they've got to be stopped. Sometimes you need a bit of a nudge before you realise how strongly you feel. I know. It made me think. When I was a kid, I used to play on the Red Wreck every day. Digging for treasure, building dens, chasing my mates around. Well, you stirred my conscience. Well, it was Geoffrey who stirred mine. Are you glad he's come to stay with me? Oh, I am. He's given me a new lease of life. It's, he's shaken me out of myself. He's a breath of fresh air. He really is. I can't believe what I've done. You fell for a con man, that's all. No, it's not. There's more. What? I dragged Ken into it. I asked him to keep quiet. I made him lie for me. Yeah, well, he could have refused. Ow. I put pressure on him. Emotional blackmail. I just didn't want to look like a fool. Not to look like a fool and have all this happen. And Ken should have told you that. He did. I just didn't want to listen. I made him lie. And, and I lied to people too. Even you, my best friend. Sorry. Hey, it doesn't matter. It does. I've done a terrible thing. Wasn't any of it true? I loved him. That much was true. But was he never a pilot? Never at all? I don't know if he's ever set foot on an aeroplane. Oh, God, I've been such a fool. What did he say when you found out where he really worked? You know, how did he explain it? He said he did it to impress me. He said I was someone really special and I deserved someone really special. He did it to make me happy. I can't believe all the lies he's told. It was all a fantasy. And I believed it because I wanted to. Because I was lonely. I just didn't think anybody worthwhile would look at me twice. Oh, dear Trey. Nobody needed me. Nobody cared. And I just didn't want to be on my own. And he promised me he wouldn't lie to me again. He swore he'd tell the truth, even if it hurts. Oh, you should have heard him, Liz. You should have heard him. I can imagine. What am I going to do? Don't do anything right now. Just be glad it's all over. Nick, have you got enough money? Of course he has. He's loaded. I don't have to pay for my fare. I don't have to fork out for accommodation. No, but you need money for days out. I mean, you don't want to be scrounging off the Ferguson. Uh, any money you've got left, give it to me. <laughs> all right? No chance. I'm taking these two to the sales. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah! yeah. Right, go on, get in the car. Right, see you later. Hey, no messing. All right, especially you, pal. All right. All right. We'll, uh, See you in a bit. we'll be gone a couple of hours. Will you still be here when we get back? Yeah, the coach doesn't leave till three. Yeah, well, change of scene will do you good. Broaden your horizons again. I'll see you. Hi. See you later. Good. Don't spend too much. <laughs> do be best. You can always hear us saying it, can't you? Saying what? Oh, Nick, why don't you find a nice Scottish girl while you're up there? I think they call them lasses, don't they? Oh, they can call them what they like. So? You're not interested, then? I'm only interested in getting away from here for a few days. It'd be good to get my mum off my back. You've only been back two minutes. Yeah, well, it feels like ages. You know, some stuff I've got to go by. I'll see you later. Well, get a move on. You'll get a lift into town. Come on. See ya. Drink this. Make you feel better. You'll never feel better. You will? You'll get over this, and you've got lots of friends to help you. That's him. No, it isn't. It is, Liz. I, I don't want to see him. I don't want him near me. All right, all right. Deirdre, darling, you there? <laughs> I'm Delia, and I've got two passions in my life. 
One is food and the other is football. And now I've put the two together with a brilliant new set of recipes, starting this month for 24 weeks in the Express and leading right up to the World Cup. It's an eating plan that's low in fat, but high in carbohydrates. It's a great way to kick off the new year. Delia Smith, in tomorrow's Express for only 25 pence. Is this an escudo or a ruble? It's an escudo. I've got a sucre. Where's that from? Find out in Money of the World, a great new way to build up a collection of money and a bank of knowledge too. Money of the World starts you off with a real American silver half dollar and a Peruvian intus. Discover the power of money and how it's changed. What do you reckon this is worth? It's worth finding out, Dad. <laughs> money of the World. It's the only collection that counts. Issue 199P. You can eat your favourite foods and lose weight. You can have a diet with no weighing and measuring. You can get slim and look great. It's easy with 123 Success from Weight Watchers. No foods are sin, no more scales. It's simple and it works. And now it's even easier with new 123 Success Plus. Registration's free, so join Weight Watchers today and say yes, yes to success. I've had enough of us. Time for something completely different. There's up to half price off clothing and home and leisure in the Asda half price sale. Now on. You're a smoker. Don't you find your teeth get stained? No. Not even after tea or coffee? No. So you use a harsh abrasive stain remover? No. Clinamin has polynam to gently remove stains without harsh abrasive action. So it's not like most toothpastes? No. Clinamin gives you the confidence to look your best every day of the week. No stains, no problem. At Butlins, we've invested a staggering £50 million on accommodation alone. Yet some people don't even seem to have noticed. Coffee, darling. Darling. You should see what's happened at Butlins. Introducing the latest three for twos at Boots. Two weeks in Zanty, £239 apartment, pool, and they had shed loads of other deals. What? Thomas Cook? Thomas Cook. The nice surprise is the prices. Deirdre, I love you. I can explain. I know how it must look. Keep away. Well, don't be scared of me. I'd never do anything to hurt you. Oh, I wouldn't. Everything I did, I did for the best. Oh, please. Just say your piece and go. I think you should leave right now. You can see the state she's in. Well, let me try and tell you what happened. I know what happened. I know every word, every detail. I'll never forget it. What I don't know is why. Why you told me all those lies. It's because I love you. I always have. Oh, get out. Get back to that other poor woman. What have you told her? The truth. What? The airline pilot truth? The divorced wife truth? The truth of how I feel about you. You led me on for months. Please, Liz. Um, well, there's things I need to say. Could you just give us a minute. Oh, is that all it'll take? No. Is a minute of your time all I'm worth? Far from it. I'll be in the kitchen. Shout if you need me. Thank you. No matter what you may think of me now, I love you and I always will. Do you? When I told you I was no longer married, I was telling you the truth. She's not my wife anymore. It's years since she was. You said you were divorced. If it wasn't for the children, I would be. 
I've seen solicitors umpteen times. I've, I've even served papers, but uh, in the end I've backed out. Have you? Why? There's things I don't like to say. Oh, like what? Things about Linda, the way she is. And what way is that? Oh, she's fine in public. She's quite normal. Oh, so are you? Yeah, well, I've had to be. I learnt to mask things a long time ago. What do you mean? I'm scared of her. I'm scared of what she'll do. What? You mean she might hit you? No. Of what she'll do to the children. The children? If she doesn't get what she wants, she goes berserk. She takes everything out on them. I don't believe you, John. It's true. Last Christmas, I stayed away from her. Called her bluff, but it was hell. I was worried sick. And then this Christmas, she threatened to kill them. She said she'd take them somewhere in the car and stick a hosepipe on the exhaust. Well, I had to go back. There's nothing else I could do. She's not bothered whether they build a concert ball or not. All she wants is to get a grip on that spider. Everyone else in the street's going to that meeting in the Rovers. But you're not, are you? And do you know why? Yeah, because me guts are even and there's bombs going off in my head. No, because you're stupid. You're the only people around here too thick to understand the issues. Hey, you, you call him thick. We should go, Les. What? Why? Well, I'd like a concert ball in the park. We could have a bit of a dance. No, we couldn't. It'd be flaming Mozart, and you can't dance to that. Oh, it'll be all kinds of different music. Suit every taste. Shaking Stevens. Shaking Stevens, eh? Come on. Let's get your coat on. Come on. Hey! It's a protest meeting. You can't go if you're in favour. We can go if we want. Why? Because we want to put our point of view across. Anyway, I like a good fight. Hello. Here we are. Hello, Hi, Sweet. Hi. 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 Oh, you can show it, Grandma, later. Yeah. Can I try it, Abra? Yeah. Go on. Let's roll. Oh, <laughs> not. <laughs> now, listen, I hope you're going to stick up for Alfie at this meeting. Yes, please. before you start tearing me to bits in public, remember I'm here babysitting for you. We won't be pulling you to bits. Oh, you agree with the scheme, then, do you? No, no, we're dead against it, but I don't mean we'll be slagging anyone off. Least of all you. Yeah. I, I don't know what all the fuss is about. I mean, them trees should have been chopped down years ago. Oh, oh they're lovely. Oh. And they're an amenity. There's lots of wildlife in the undergrowth. Yeah, lots of dirty old men and all. There's many a young lass come out of there faster than she went to. <laughs> the Red Rex, the only place around here for the kids to play. They'll still have somewhere to play. They'll have a, a concert ball to boot. Now, that, 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 be quiet, Alfie, please. Go and chat to your grandson. <laughs> all right. Make a break while you can. Right. I'll try and keep him in. Come on, then. Thanks, Matthew. Bye. She meant it. Did she? So, you're married to a mad woman. I never wanted you to find out. But I didn't want you to meet her. Oh, that much is easy to believe. You don't know how hard it's been. You're the one I love, but I, I can't ignore my children. You said you didn't have any. Well, if you had met them, Linda would have gone crazy. She's petrified I'll take them away from her. That's why I told her I'm still on my own, living in some seedy flat. To reassure her that you couldn't give them a hole? Yeah, that's exactly why I said it. Well, there's no telling what might have happened if I hadn't. Oh, John. Believe me, Deirdre. It's the truth. I'll have to go, love. Alfie, love, it's a piddling little meeting. It's local folk being misled by activists. Oh, pff. Spider Newton isn't an activist, he's a layabout. Yeah, well, he'll turn people's opinion against the best idea that's come out of Weatherfield Council for years. Oh, well, Bunga saw in a few swings on the plans, and that'll keep him happy. Look, I've got to give the council's point of view. Oh, go on, then, if you must. I'll have to watch Sarah Louise's fashion show on my own. Oh, well, tell her I think she looks lovely. I will. Tell her. I'm ready. All right, darling. I'm going, I'm going. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're asking for your support in opposing the imminent destruction of a local beauty spot, wildlife sanctuary and children's playground by the Weatherfield Council. 
It's about people empowering themselves. About the voice of democracy being heard. Yeah. They just want to chop down a few trees, that's all. And put up a concrete monstrosity none of us wants. Hey, hang on, who says we don't want it? Dad. I mean, when was the last time you was at the Red Wreck? Uh, that those trees near the kiddies' play area are the last bit of greenery we've got in the district. Where are we going to go to to fill our lungs full of fresh air? Well, I've got a cypress. <laughs> then about you. Oh, yeah, but if you had kids, you'd want somewhere for him to play, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah, Martin's right. You're the first to complain if any lad kicks a ball near your motor. Uh, <laughs> too right. The parents should keep them under control. Oh, shut up, Mike. You're going to get yourself lynched. Well, I thought this meeting was about free speech. It is. It's about not letting the bully boys of local government decide what's best for the community. Right. It's about us taking power. Oh, and... he's one of the local bully boys now. <laughs> what have you got to say for yourself, Councillor Roberts? May I address the meeting, Mr Chairman? You, you may, Councillor. Right. You've all heard what the environmentalists have to say. Now, let me put another point of view. Weatherfield needs green spaces, yes. yes. But it also needs jobs, not just bushes. Now, the Millennium Concert Bowl will bring in hundreds of short-term construction jobs and dozens of permanent jobs in the leisure industry, not to mention the knock-on effect of other businesses. Yeah, what about the excessive noise level at night? You know, keeping the residents awake. You're fixed, hating about noise, you are. We want somewhere for the kids to play, Al. Well, you'll still have a playground. We'll revise the plan. How are you going to do that, Alf? You can't make a playground out of thin air. We'll chop down a few more trees. Oh, that's oh. it. You heard it from the councillor's own mouth. He won't rest till there's neither a blade of grass nor a tree left in Weatherfield. It's Manchester Airport all over. Concrete, as far as the eye can see. Now, just listen. I propose we march on mass to the town hall. And we pick it a council and rally the support of the workers. Well, it's not just our environment, it's theirs too. The red wreck belongs to us all. Out! 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 You're perfect! Out! 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 Oh, come on, love, we're not listening to this. Out! 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 I can't take it anymore. I'm not staying with her. I'll start divorce proceedings again. This time I won't back down and uh, I'll sue for joint custody. That way I'll protect the children. So are you really going to leave? Well, I've tried it every other way. I've lived a lie. I've split myself in two. It just doesn't work. Maybe you could make it up with her. No. I don't want to. She's nothing to me. And I'm everything. Yes. You didn't see Linda at all last Christmas? No. You stayed away? Yep. I didn't know you then, John. No. So who did you stay with? What? You can't help yourself, can you? I, I don't know what you mean. One lie after another. All you do is open your mouth. Who were you lying to, John? Who were you making a fool of 12 months ago? Nobody. That's not the way things are. It is. You're a liar through and through. I am not. I have tried to be honest with you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I hope you got all the thrills you expected. I hope I didn't disappoint. Deirdre. Maybe you're insane. Maybe you're a maniac. I never want to set eyes on you again. Get out. Get out! Did you hear some of that? He won't be back. Right, I'm off now. Are you sure you don't want me to run you to the station? No, Mum, I'm fine. It's a shame you haven't got a mate to go with. Oh, it's no problem. I'll meet up with the Fergusons as soon as I get there. Well, just don't talk to anyone at the station. Yeah, the lad's travelled round Canada oh, by I know, himself. I know. Just take care of yourself, I will. Nick. I'll send you a postcard. Yes, well, make sure you do. Mm Come on now, give your grandma a kiss. Oh, right. <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye, oh, oh, everyone. <laughs> oh. just... Yeah, see you then. You are not going on no demonstration, so be told. I am going. Shut up, the pair of you. And get that down your necks. Oh, I'm not hungry. He's put me off my food. Yeah, he'll be sitting next to that spider that's done that. He stinks. <laughs> he doesn't. 
Oh, it doesn't smell that bad, Les. Look, do you want her camping out on the town hall steps? No, I want her here with us, in our happy home. <laughs> Look, Toya, it's not people like them that get things done. It's people like us. Scroungers. You watch your mouth. I've told you before, I'm not above giving you a good clout. Hey, nobody is giving anybody a good clout. Not on New Year's Day. We'll be fighting for 12 solid months. <laughs> and what be new about that? You know, you've got too much to say for yourself. Right, I'm off out then. Tra. Tra, love. Ta -da. If Spider wants me to sit on the town hall steps with him, then that's what I'll do. And you'll make a fool of yourself. I don't care. You'll be the laughing stock of the whole street. The whole borough. So? Hey, more than that. The whole country. Did you know they take television cameras to that sort of thing? Oh, well, then I'll be famous. You can queue up for me autograph. You know, she's off her head. She's in love. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Are you feeling any better? No. You had a lucky escape. Well, I don't see it like that. You will in time. Yesterday, I was on top of the world. You thought you were. You can't let a liar ruin your life. He was going to marry me on the 29th of January. He booked the register office. I'd bought an outfit. What sort of a man is it who'd do that to you? I wish I knew. I just don't understand. You're well rid of him. I loved him. It's not worth crying over. <laughs> he could have been up to all sorts while he was living with you and you wouldn't have known. What do you mean? He's a liar and a cheat, Deirdre. That much is obvious. But what if... What if there's more to come? No, no, I didn't mean that. Yes, you did. And you're right. All this. I'm scared. <laughs> A suspicious case of deception for the bill, next. <laughs> Coronation Street is sponsored by Cadbury's Cream Egg. 